Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Solo. Time to enter the mine of Cathurges. When the grandfather of my grandfather's grandfather was still a child, no one in this land could challenge the might of the Liltis. They forged weapons of iron to bring the world under their dominion. But eventually, the mine was exhausted, and the Liltis' unstoppable conquest ground to a halt. The Liltis' ambition vanished along with the iron. They abandoned the mine, where monsters now thrive. Notice that the title there was different from what it says on the map. That's probably just a translation error. In Japanese, it was probably. I'm guessing Cathurges is the name, so it'd be like. Uh, Cathurges no. whatever the word for mine is. And you could translate that as the mine of Cathurges. Or Cathurges mine. Anyway. Oh, I didn't put a phoenix down on. Whoops. Oh, it's already on. Cool. Alrighty. That's pretty handy. So, we'll have Ma carry our thing. The gimmick for this one is we got this stupid minecart. No. Oh, and this horrible goblin. Is he a goblin? Or is he? No, he's an orc. Right. My creature names are all funky. But we already got Kira, which is good. If you, if you find that... Having to get spells in every dungeon is super annoying. There are ways to get spells as items. So that way you can have them with every dungeon from the get-go. But unfortunately, that's more of a second half to last third of the game thing. It's also pretty rare to get them. But hey, it's there at least. Now we're going to change our thing over to fire. I still have not looked up what the auras do. I'm pretty sure they prevent status effects, or certain status effects, and I th think that they also mitigate damage from that element? I can't recall, honestly. I remember they do something. I think it was in the manual for this game. I don't think I have the manual for this game anymore. So we are kind of SOL. But, as I recall, we cannot be burned while we have this fire aura. That's what I remember. We're gonna... S Oops. Excuse me. We're gonna see how accurate that actually is when I go look it up at some point. Hopefully, I'll remember. Now, for this one, you don't want to go down, because you're just gonna have to throw this minecart back all the way here again, because it's gonna disappear. So you want to smack it up. And, uh, punch this guy in the face a bunch. Why can't I not do my third attack? I don't understand. There it is. Mashing it is just as... Wow, my phone. I need to turn that to silent. Or I'll just chuck it over there. Where it hopefully won't be heard by the people. When you're doing your combo, mashing it is just about as effective as timing it. But sometimes you don't get your third hit. And... For some reason, I have find it really hard to time the Selkie's racket for a three-hit combo, so I just mash it with Selkie's. So I'm kind of at a loss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, having done this dungeon a lot, you come to realize that even though there are balcony areas, there's never anything up on the balconies. Like, literally ever. So you have no need to ever go in there, up there. Die! Uh, uh. 
Fire. Fire, surprisingly, does not heal enemies in here. Even, like, the bombs. You can hit them with fire. They'll take actual damage. I don't know if they'll take as much damage. As, like, if they're... The damage reduction was, like, on a decimal scale. I'm pretty sure fire damage to bombs is still 1.0. But, who knows. I don't. Is this guy hurting me by me hitting him? Can't tell. But he's dead. I can cure myself. Ooh, money, 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 money. So the nice thing about playing solo all the time is you don't have to worry about sharing resources and being nice to people. Um, oh, there might be a chest up here. I, even though I know... Oh, hey, Orc. What's up? How's it going, friend? Wanna get the heck out of my way? I'll take some money, sure. But even though I know that there's... 90% of the time, nothing up here. I still check, and it's really annoying because I don't want to check because I know there's nothing there, but uh, there might be. Let's go find out. It's like this one specific spot. I feel like there's something here. There's an enemy. That's a good sign. Usually where there's enemies, there's treasure. Get hit in the face. Same thing for you. Get hit in the face. And, uh, I don't think there's anything up here. I think it was just those enemies. And I'm pretty sure I'm right. I am actu actually 100% I am entirely right. So let's go and never come back. I'm just going to stop coming up to the balconies now. At least it's not as bad as in multiplayer, where uh, you can't run at full speed because the person carrying the chalice can't run at full speed, so they can't keep up with everyone else. Thankfully, Mob can. Otherwise, this would suck. Ugh. Oh, you have long hair. I didn't shave you at all. Damn, I forgot. I'm not sure if this counts as a hot dungeon, though. It looks like it does, just gen uh, because there's steam, like, coming off of the sides of the aura. But, uh, yeah. As I mentioned before, if you don't cut his hair and uh, you go into a hot dungeon, he's going to get tired more quickly. Ooh, I don't like this guy. Nope, nope, nope. No, I do not. He's gonna beat my ass. Oh, and he's casting fire. Why is he casting fire? You're, like, clad entirely in blue, almost, except for that front bezel I gave you with green and red. Do you mind stopping for a second and just dying? Thank you. It's getting kind of worried there. And he drops a talisman. Artifact. Whatever. Okay, let's see. What's over here? Can't go in there, sadly. Yeah, sure. Feel free. Ooh, but there's a treasure chest. With clear. You don't actually need clear in this dungeon. So we're not going to bother equipping it. And I don't think there's anything else to worry about, so we're just going to come up here. Uh. Phase 2. Phase 2 is exactly like Phase 1. There are three main areas in this dungeon. This is the second one. It's not as long as the first one, I, if I recall correctly. And I came up here, and there's nothing here. I'm going to go back down, because there's nothing here. <sighs> I, I, there's something to be said, like, for not just making your game a linear hallway, like Final Fantasy XIII, like putting places in the world that don't really have a purpose, just to make it seem like a real-life world. But there's also something to be said for rewarding your player for ex exploring the game world. So by literally putting an entire second floor to most of the rooms in this dungeon and then not giving you anything for it, that's not only really annoying, kind of dumb. It seems like someone had to go through all the trouble of modeling all of that. And you're not even going to put, like, a chest in there? Like, not even one chest. Like, really? Oh, man. Oh, God. How about we just get... How about we just run away? How about... Take a soul shot to the face! Yeah. Whoa. Really have no desire to get hit by a meteor today. Oh, whoops. 
That's not what I want. I wanted this. Mage Masher. That's magic attack up, I think. Which is really weird because Mage Masher is supposed to be like anti mage, so wouldn't it be like magical defense? Although I don't think that's a stat in this game. Or like. I don't know. Magic up. Mash Pete Bull with the power of magic. Anyway, up there is uh, phase three of the dungeon, so we're gonna go here and grab some more chests. I love chests, and I love money and uh, robbing people of their worldly possessions, because I am silky. But for now, I'll just settle with getting some chests. Oh, and there's one more dude. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. Die. Blizzard! Now that's a spell I can put on. Blizzardo, Blizzara, where are you? There you go. Nope, split that. Fire, change to cure. Alrighty. Now, Selkies don't have very good magic stats. Did I go down here at the bottom right yet? But what they do have is the ability to use magic at all. Although everyone does, so I don't know where I was going with that. But wait. Never mind. I didn't need the magic. I didn't need the cart. Cart was pointless. So phase three. But uh Blizzard is going to be useful to us because you can sometimes freeze enemies. He didn't want to be frozen. But he will die in two magic attacks, which is pretty good. I guess they are weak to Blizzard. I don't know. I don't really bother looking this up. I don't even look up the bosses before I do the dungeons. I look them up afterwards. I am horribly underprepared for this LP. Especially since this is supposed to be the information uh, LP as opposed to the co-op one, which is just for funsies. But hey. I say that a lot. I just like, say something and then, but hey. Like, no, no, no. I need to think of a better way to say something about my sentences than just end it halfway. End the thought halfway, stop thinking about it and say, but hey, whatever. Moving on. Like, I could say a thousand different things. But said, I choose the most lazy route and also the most repetitive route. I need to stop doing that. Oh well. That, nah. Yeah. It's the same thing, just a different word. I guess, at the very least, I could just vary up what words I use. Oh, stop that. Unless you're dying quickly. Like, if I was a Yuki, these guys would probably be dying in one hit because they really are weak to magic, if not Blizzard specifically. And to test that, we're actually going to put on Thunder. Whoops, it is. Thunder. And we'll see how quickly they die. Give me that. Buckler, that's defense. I can't remember if it's plus one or plus two. Anyway, in here. I'm trying to remember the next dungeon we have to go to after this. I think I know. Sure, we'll paint you. And by paint you, I mean trim all your hair off. Or trim some of it off. This is just, you know, just a quick go. Oops, a daisy. I don't know how little hair you can give him. You can spend a long time cutting all this guy's hair. We're not going to you. Give him a little bit of a trim. That's cool. Anyway, why well, I actually came here, give me a mog stamp. Ikuyo! We came here for that mog stamp, and that's it. I wanted to give him a trim just because. I'm not sure if it's actually going to do anything, because I didn't give him a full trim, but whatever. It might. I don't even know if this is a hot dungeon. There are definitely hot dungeons later. There might actually only be like one or two, and they might be really later. So he might have just gotten actually tired. Now let's see. Two hits or one? Okay, they're just weak to magic, so we'll just keep Thunder on. What's next? How many dudes are you going to throw at me this time? Oh god, way too many. I only hit one, damn. I can hit two this time, though. Oh, you pooped. Oh, no, I still hit you. Missed you both. Come on, try to get a two for here. 
What? I thought I hit you. And I'm frozen. Wait, you're not dead yet. Oh god, I'm dead. Sweet. So you guys can just step right off and die. And this guy I'm just gonna smack in the face because I don't care enough anymore. And smack you in the face. Earth Pendant. I don't think I can uh, get another heart, but whatever. Blizzard, put that on, just because I may as well keep it off for the chance to freeze if there's no real difference between that thunder, and clearly I almost died if I didn't have that phoenix down. It would have been a very bad thing. So we're going to put that on so we can fight the boss. How about that? Alright, big fat and ugly, let's do this. He's gonna summon adds. You're gonna wanna kill these guys. Because this dude hits like a truck and he takes up a lot of space. So, the less I have to deal with, the better. Huh, okay, that's good. Now, I actually need to do evil. Let's do that. Alright. Blizzard! I did okay damage. We'll keep doing that. It's quicker than Soul Shot. And it's range. I missed that, really. Alright, can I just get him into, like, a loop? Keep using your magic. No. I guess he's only gonna do that if I'm doing that. Seems like it. Is this doing more or less? It's about the same. So I'm gonna use Blizzard. It's slightly more mobile. Because I don't have as long a cooldown after letting go of the, the charge. Alright, this is working out pretty good, actually. Now, we're gonna see if this guy can kill himself. Oh, no. He's got his friend there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Now his friend is dead. So, the two times I've done this dungeon co-op in the past, or like before the co-op LP, because I had to do it once on camera and then I didn't save, so I had to do it again. Uh, he killed himself twice. He, like, he had maybe about two centimeters, or about an inch, for you Imperialists, of HP left in his gauge. And then he didn't attack, and he died. I don't know if that was a glitch, or what's happening, but he killed himself, so maybe we can make him do that again. This guy is being very cooperative. Like, wow, I can't believe I got him with a sick move. I'm going to just keep doing that. That'll be fine by me. At some point, he's going to do the attack. Maybe not. Maybe that's a co-op only attack? Or... I don't know what the conditions are. Damn it. Man, I got to aim where he's going to be. Ow, get smacked in the face. Gotta. Gotta. What does that even mean? What's gotta mean? Baldur's gotta. Ow. Okay. This isn't working anymore. Use your attack. Thank you. The old bait and switch. And then get the hell out of there. Oh, did he kill his friend? No. He did something. What was that? Why did he die? The dude really kill his own friend? I couldn't tell. Didn't seem like he thought he was charging up the spell, not. Okay, here's the thing. So once he's done this attack, he's just gonna die. Or you can just kill him because it takes 10 years to charge up. If he does hit you with it though, it's gonna be a big problem. It does a lot of damage. 
but he's dead, so. just like focused on that murder tree I sometimes forget to talk it's so pretty now give me some myrrh this is actually the final drop of myrrh we need for the year because we only need three drops so once we're done this we'll be able to go back to Co Cove I think I called it Tipa last video because I always keep the name default but whatever back to Cove You can see our reflection. Interesting that it's actually reflecting our character. I'm not sure if that's a real reflection. I'm not sure if the Genki was really capable of that. But it is our character at the very least. Yeah, it doesn't look like there was a Moogle there, so I guess that, that was scripted in as opposed to just being real time. Oh well. Mail Moogle, your service, Koopa! Koopa! I wish I could paint my Moogle like you. Here you go, Koopa. It's just way too finicky for that. It's a letter from my sister, Momofia. Oh, God, again. Here we go. At least it's English this time. How are you? I am good. Today, itidai mi on kuri kroke. Okay, let's see. How are you? I am good. Today, I, it, itida, itida, I did, uh, me on, I don't know what that says. Something, I am good today, I did, or something. Yep, yep. How about you get another fish for being such an adorable little child? Yeah, let's um, have a fish. Go away. <sighs> I got your reply, Koopa. I don't have all day, Koopa. Shut up. Don't keep me waiting, Koopa. So long, Koopa. Defeat enemies with folk stacks. Well, I kind of didn't really do that at all, so... Yay, 89. Good job. That's an A. So, yeah, we can't get another heart yet. Uh, I think we're just going to go for strength. That way we can kill stuff faster. And now we return to Cove. Diary from year one. The morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow, I set out in search of myrrh. Not far from the village, someone called to me. The man introduced himself as Saul Rocked, leader of the caravan from Alphataria. It seems that news of my caravan had already reached them. They showed me much kindness, and a Moogle named Stiltskin gave me a lesson in combat. I wound my way through the vivid green hills and followed the path to reach the river bell. All my tension seemed to flow away with the river bell's serene currents. As I pressed onward, I slew many goblins. I soon saw a rainbow over a great waterfall. Who could have known that I would fight the giant crab surrounded by such beauty?
I came across the caravan from Alphataria today. The town was already abuzz with the talk of the Black Knight, but Saul had more tales to tell. Saul spoke with such enthusiasm that he actually seemed to admire him. It is astonishing how quickly word of the Black Knight is spread, in spite of the way Miasmus isolates every town. I ran across the caravan from Luda. Those two Selkies are some characters. They seem to be enjoying the journey more than observing their duty. It was a refreshing outlook, but it worried me. I began to understand how Saul of Alphataria must have felt about me. I visited a Moogle nest for the first time. Moogle there cheerfully welcomed me into his home. When it was time to go, I thought he looked a bit sad. I patted the bonbon on his head and bade him farewell. I wonder if all Moogles live so comfortably. According to ancient Yukish lore, Fan dislike fire, for heat can melt their gelatinous flesh. For reasons unknown, they are unaffected by spells that alter time, such as slow and stop. The more powerful Dark Flame cannot be harmed until a holy spell is cast upon them. The Miasma Stream Many caravans have passed through, and now I will follow in their tracks. Someday, others will follow me. I feel like I have become a small part of history. As I approach the mushroom forest, I somehow feel like I'm shrinking. Each toadstool I pass seems taller than the last. Now I know I'm inside the forest. I'm walking along a rooftop of mushrooms. Although a Malboro blocked my path, I prevailed and collected a drop of myrrh. Mars Pass. This land was once the home of the Liltis. With the iron weapons they wrought here, they once ruled the entire world. Now this place is but a small town at the crossroads. Time washes away everything. Joy. Agony. Everything. The mine of Cathurges is a relic of the age of Lilchian reign. Orcs rule it now. As I ventured deep into the mine, I kept jumping at my own shadow, cast on the walls by the flickering lamps overhead. I found the Orc King waiting for me in the deepest cavern within. After my victory, I collected a drop of myrrh. With my first journey behind me, my caravan has finally come home. Before setting out, I had heard only stories of the world outside. Once out there, I found excitement, surprise, and a bit of hardship. Whenever I close my eyes, I vividly remember all of my adventures as I search for myrrh. Tonight is the festival. It's time to celebrate. Cove's Caravan, Year 2. The Miasma Streams. We see the first one we're going to have to go through is Fire this time. I think after Year 7, the Miasma Streams start cycling. So it's not just random or anything. I've been hearing of a man called the Black Knight. They say he's up to no good, so be careful. A little bit. Not bad. What you get for trying to do the voice when you're holding it in gas? Anyways, where are my parents? Would I make you a merchant? Ah, here we are. So, Soroko, it's time to sit out, is it? I'll stop much, but take this. Money! Child. Ah, oh, you're back. I'd love to hear about your adventure sometime. Why, welcome home. Mind your health, we are on the road, you hear? 
And you! Welcome back! I hope you're getting along with everyone out there. Yeah, I sure am. Later, guys. We have stuff to do! I think there's gonna be an event once we leave the town. So, we're going to head up all the way to our first dungeon of the new year. Well, how was your first year out there? Before you set out again, there's something I must tell you. Be sure to come back, even if you can't fill your chalice with myrrh. There was once a young fool who sought to cleanse the world of Miasma. Now Miasma remains while nobody knows what's become of the boy. Every one of us is bound to fate. Straying from your destiny will only invite danger. Remember these words. You must return to Cove. Now farewell. Yeah, later, Pops. I think that's the first time I've ever used the word Pops. Like, unironically. No event, huh? I thought there would be. An event? An event? No. Weird. Anyways. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, we go to the Goblin Wall. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye!